Now, by the middle of this century, people who live by themselves are projected to make up 40% of all households in South Korea. By then, the biggest proportion of these one-person households will be likely older than 70. So calls are growing for more policies to take care of seniors. Shin Ha-young reports. 30 years from now, in 2050, three-quarters of South Korean households will have just one or two members. One-person households already accounted for the biggest proportion in 2020. The second biggest proportion of households were married couples with children at 29 percent. But these families with children will fall to third place by 2050 at just 17.1 percent. By then, households with just one member will likely rise to 40 percent. And these individuals will be much older on average than they are now. In 2020, about 37 percent of people living alone were younger than 40. But by 2050, the largest group of these will be older than 70. Compared to 2019, the number of unmarried people in single-member households has been increasing at a faster pace. Our estimates also reflect our society's rapid aging and low birth rate. Because more senior citizens are living alone, an expert says more needs to be done to address the issues of elderly poverty and dying alone. The biggest problems affecting South Korean seniors are the poverty and mortality rates. The number of seniors dying alone has been increasing rapidly. To solve these problems, we need to strengthen our social welfare policy and facilities so that we can take care of our seniors. Overall, the number of households in South Korea is likely to hit a peak in 2039 and then go down. Two years ago, the number of households was around 21 million. The figure is expected to hit almost 24 million by the peak, but will fall to around 23 million in 2050, along with an overall drop in the population. This peak is a year sooner than it was projected three years ago. The population as a whole is believed to have already picked in 2020. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News.